Mr. Harris here and welcome to a new video of chapter 10. In this video we're going to talk about sight. To be more exact we'll be talking about the structure of the eye. And to answer this question how do our eyes detect light and allow us to see we'll first need to of course learn about the structure of the eye and how do we detect light. So first off let us see some features around our eye that help us to protect First off, we have the eyebrow. It prevents sweat from running into our eye. Also, we have eyelashes. The eyelashes over here, they trap small objects, for example, sand, to prevent them from entering our eye. So most of the time, especially some females or girls, they will like to pluck their eyebrows and eyelashes. Now, for males, we don't really do that. So there's one benefit for us is that um, we're able to prevent sweat and some other small objects from entering the eye. So that's one good news for us boys. Moreover, we also have eyelids, which is this part over here. Of course, when we're sleeping, the, our eyelids are closed and we can close it to protect our eye from any dirt or very strong light. Say for example, if we try to look at the sun, our eyelids will automatically want to close or shut the, shut our eyes because the light is so strong. Now let us talk about the eyeball. So, so the eyeball, it is held inside a socket of the skull. So we have the skull right over here. And it's inside a socket which is called the orbit. All right. And surrounding the eyeball, we have three pairs of eye muscles so we have eye muscles over here so that's one two and three so these muscles they help the eyeball to rotate in different directions so that's one of the reasons why we can move our eyes so here's the side view of our eye so we have the skull up above over here we have the eyebrows the eyelid over here the eyelashes we have our eyeball and of course we have three pairs of eye muscles over here now let's just identify some main parts of the eye so over here there are all the main parts i'm going to go th through them one by one also please learn the pronunciation so first off we have cornea over here iris not mr harris this is iris pupil we have the lens, we have a jelly-like fluid over here. So the jelly-like fluid is this whole area over here. We have the retina. The retina is basically the yellow or greenish area that you see over here. This is the retina. Then we have one outer layer called the sclera. So this is a very, very tough coating or it protects the eyeball actually. Well, we'll talk about that later. Also, we have a blind spot which is right about here, and we have an optic nerve. So I'll talk about these in details in the coming few slides. So first off, let's have a look at the cornea. So the cornea, it allows light to enter the eye. It's the outermost layer, you could say. So it's a bit curved. This area is a bit curved. So it helps us to focus light onto the retina. Retina, as I mentioned earlier, it is this layer over here. We have the iris. Iris is this part. So it controls the size of the pupil. So what exactly is the pupil? So the pupil, it is at the it is an opening at the center of the iris. So it's this part over here. It allows light to enter the eye. Okay. And this part over here is the lens. It would focus light onto the retina. Okay, for example, it would go like this. So the retina again, it's over here. Now you you would notice that I'm keep on mentioning one particular structure of the eye, which is the retina, and we'll talk about that later. But this is a very 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 important structure. We have the jelly-like fluid. So this is the main fluid that keeps the shape of the eyeball. And maybe if some of you Hopefully when school resumes, we'll be able to dissect an oxi, but that will really depend. So if you have come across an oxi or if your father is a butcher or anything, 
probably, or your mother is a butcher, maybe if you have come across an eye, an ox eye, or if you have touched it before, you'll notice that there's this jelly-like fluid there. Now the retina, this is where it contains the light sensitive cells. Remember in the previous video we talked about how we need to have specialized sensory cells to detect the stimulus, in this case to detect light. So this is the place where it contains these specialized sensory cells. So we call them light sensitive cells. We'll learn more about the light sensitive cells later on, but this is where we need to focus on mo mostly, the retina. So we have the sclera. So I've told you earlier, it is a very tough white coat. It protects the eyeball. And if you touch on it, it's actually pretty tough and strong. So it's this area over here. So this outer layer. We have a blind spot. Now this is where the retina, this is where the optic nerve leaves the retina. So it does not have any light sensitive cells. Okay. While the rest of the areas, they would have the specialized sensory cells, which are the light sensitive cells. And finally, we have the optic nerve. Optic, the optic nerve is basically where we could send uh, messages along to the brain okay so the messages that are received to the light sensitive cells they are sent along to the brain through the optic nerve and there you have it this is the whole structure of the eye i'll again repeat we have the cornea which is the curved surface area over here we have the iris we have the pupil that allows light to enter we have the lens which focuses light on the retina we have this jelly-like fluid. We have the retina where the light, sensi light sensitive cells are. We have the sclera. We have the blind spot over here where the optic nerve lies. And we have the optic nerve that will send the message to the brain. Okay, so that wraps up this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.